Alright, so if you're going to take your mockup PSD file and convert it into HTML through brackets, first off, obviously, you're going to need your mockup.psd. Next, we need brackets, so let's go ahead and launch that. Now, there's an extra step in here. Go ahead and get rid of that for now. This is our extract tool, and this will let us extract information from Photoshop documents into brackets. Now, it's not going to do everything for us, but it will help. So, once you click Extract, you're probably going to get a user agreement if you haven't used it before. Then you should see this. You can treat this actually as like a tutorial. So you have these options here to move on to the next and it will tell you about it. I'm not going to walk you through exactly what it shows because there wouldn't be much point. You can go ahead and walk through that yourself. You can press pause if you want and go ahead and do that. And it might just make you feel a little bit more comfortable with it if you move through that before continuing. So right now, this is sort of a demonstration of an example PSD file where you can click on different aspects and it gives you information. You can also see the layer structure over here. So this should be rather similar to what we'll see when we open my mockup. Now, if you haven't noticed, you have a little cloud here. And that's because Extract is a creative cloud service. So you're going to need an Adobe ID. I'm going to go ahead and create one just to show that you don't have to have a paid account to be able to use this. However, obviously, you do need Photoshop, so you're either paying a monthly for Photoshop or you're using an older version like CS6 like I'm currently using, although I have both. And I'm just going to fill this out. Okay, so I've created an account, I've given them my name, birth date, and country that I live in, and that's it. No credit cards, no exact address, so you can use this without having to pay for anything. So I've got my PSD file here, I'm going to go ahead and drag it into here, and this is now a Creative Cloud asset. It's gone and taken this up to Adobe server somewhere and it's there now. So now I can click on it and you can see my mock-up from Photoshop CS6 and you can see the different folders there and you can see you can see the whole mock-up here. Right now each one of these is inside of a layer 2 so if I click on it it will open up that folder and you can see the individual components. You can see the width, the height, as well as the X and Y, the coordinates for where that object actually is. So even that alone should help a little bit because when you're creating your divs and the styles and everything for it, you don't have to go back and look. You can actually see the width and the height and everything all right here. And while I have one thing clicked on, if I hold Command, I can click on other parts, and it will show me the space between them, as well as the difference in height, if there is a difference in height between the two. I can also click on the background, holding Command, while one thing is selected, and it will show me how far away from the left side it is, as well as how far away from the top it is. So that can be very useful when you're trying to position your div tags. And that works for pretty much any element. You just have to be careful though, because like for this Learn for Web Design, right now when I clicked Command and I clicked the background, I didn't actually click the background, I clicked the image. And so it's showing me how far away it is from the edges of the image and not the page itself. So just something to be aware of, make sure that you are paying attention to where you're clicking, because there is a difference here between that and and that.
So in addition to being able to drag this up and down, I can also get rid of the dock there if I want. I can tell it if I want it to be full size or fit or a specific size if I want as well. So I could drop this to 50% if I want it to be that size instead. Now you also have this little gear here, which are your settings or preferences, blah, 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 terms of use. And that's really all it is. So not a whole lot there yet. Maybe later on. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and get started and actually write a little bit of this. So we're just going to start with our doc type. And of course, HTML. And a header. And body. And we can put a title in here, and it can be learn JavaScript or web design or whatever I want to call it, right? And you can put some meta tags in there or whatever else you want to do, some descriptions for Google to look at. I'm not really worried about that yet. That's not really important for this. The important thing is to get into how you can actually use this, right? So let's go ahead and just make a div. And this will be, we'll just keep it simple. So just header, right? Now, what we can also do is if I start typing image SRC right now, not useful, right? However, if I click on that first and I start typing, when I get to SRC, it's showing me that it can extract this asset for me. So I click on that, and it will even let me decide what folder I want to put it in. Even if that folder doesn't exist, it will make it for me. And the name of the file. So maybe I want this to be learn JavaScript. Maybe header first, right? Something like that. And I can even change this. Right now it's saying a PNG, but I can make this a JPEG actually, and it will save it as that instead. Make that move that down a little bit just so you can see the whole thing. So that's pretty cool. So now if I press enter, it'll extract it. And now if I look in my images folder, there it is. Go back to index and uh, let's go ahead and close this tag. Now, if you notice, the header is just the image and it doesn't have this text on there. Now, it does have this text on here, and that is because this text was actually part of the graphic, this graphic that I used to create the background. So, I can't really extract that text because it is in the graphic itself. And if you flatten your PSD file, if you flatten or merge some of the layers in your PSD file, that's going to happen and it's not going to be worth anything anymore. You're not going to be able to get any of that out. In my design here, this is not, it is an image, but it's not an image the way that I put it here. This is actually a background and because I need this text on top. So I guess I sort of have two choices. I could make these in a separate div tag and then try to overlay it on top, but that's a little needlessly complex. Instead, what I could also do is I could instead make this the background. So if I go ahead and get rid of that, instead let's make a CSS file and give this some style. So making sure that I have the right image clicked on, the right thing clicked on, because I want this to be the background of the header tag, I can do control space. And you can see here all of these different helpful little bits here that I can use to help style that div tag. So just to do this real fast, we can do the backgrounds. Once again, we'll do header 
JavaScript. It was learn JavaScript. Learn hyphen JavaScript, and it was a JPEG. Actually, I'll just go ahead and click that so that way it knows that that's what I want to do. No issues. Next, we'll do another control space. Let's put the height on there. Control space. Let's put the width on there. Control. Control space. Let's put and top. I'm not sure if that's going to be quite what I want with those, but uh, let's see what happens. Make sure we have everything saved, and we'll go ahead and preview it. So link type href equals slash css. There it is. There we go. Better. All right. So we can go ahead and take that out. And non breaking space. So there's a variety of ways that this can really help you streamline your code. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful, pressing the like button is always appreciated. And if you'd be interested in being notified when I upload new videos, you can always hit the little subscription button as well, which will help you out with that. Thanks, and bye.